Hi, and welcome to episode three of Don't Drop the Dumbbells TV. Um, apparently what we're doing here, I've been told, is, is very, very web 2.0. Um, and that's quite significant because it's 10 years since Wikipedia f first started, which according to the online research I've done, means it started in 1993. Go. Web 2.0 irony there for you that I hope you like because I didn't understand it. Um, and I think what we'll be doing is we're documenting, and apparently, the documentation now in this era is as important as what's going on live. A lot of people just start to say to you, well, if what we're seeing is all documented at all, what, what's the point in experiencing a live gig? You know, when you can see something that's just complete interactive experience on the internet. And I thought about it and thought, well, there isn't, there isn't any point at all, no point whatsoever going to a live gig in any shape or form. Um, you know, we better are, just, it's an era where we can have a complete cultural and social experience, basically handed to us in a medicine bottle. I mean, literally in a, in a medicine bottle, you take two spoons from we can have a completely fulfilled life and we, we can then just get on to do important things like kind of um, Thai cooking and learning applied trigonometry, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, what is the point in the gig? No point whatsoever. Get involved, take something that um, just pans your life out for you and you'll be absolutely fine. And I know what you're saying now, it's all kind of like the Matrix, isn't it? Oh, the Matrix, scary, scary stuff. And Hollywood has kind of like put that notion in our head that kind of, um, of that false consciousness being a bad thing. But the thing about the Matrix was it's machines doing it. You know, they're, they're not the kind of things you want to leave to this stuff. False consciousness, you know, it's, it's, it's a human thing. Machines, no, it is, I mean, history teaches us, Hollywood teaches us, that you don't leave false consciousness to machines. And so just bear that in mind and take the pills, watch this, don't go to the gigs, we'll just see what fun other people had.
for June, me and Mo say is. A week. Three months. That's how good I am at driving. <laughs> Again, I think I think it's best to finish on a warning. Um, I read Sartre once. Well, I didn't read Sartre. I, I kind of saw a quote from his in some kind of compendium of quotes, and I didn't really understand it. So I paraphrased it to make some sense to me. But it was something to do with how ultimately, once we're born, we have responsibility for all our actions, whether we like it or not. And I think obviously. It's Marvel Comics who have developed that into the ultimate kind of human motif, which is with great power comes great responsibility. And in terms of what we're seeing around you now, I think if we just think that with adequate power points comes a need to amplify in a uniform level across the gig space. And I think you start to realise what you actually are dealing with. Good intentions are one thing, but obviously, good intentions without a proper thought out plan can become just hellish. And I mean, just a brief example, I was, I was watching an advert on television the other day. Very, very beautiful woman, really kind of stunning, idealized beauty. And the more I was watching, the more I was thinking, you know, yeah, I'll go on Google and look at adequate ways to stalk this woman. And yeah, it just starts to focus in on it. It's beautiful skin, wonderful, pleasing eyes. And then she opened her mouth and she had two teeth missing in the middle. And all of a sudden, you realise that this was an advert warning us against gum disease. And I think that's a really good intention. I think gum disease, yeah, it's a clear problem. But from the actress's point of view, you know, I'm not going to be stalking her now, are we? So, yeah, just think on, think about your personal responsibilities and come back to us next week with a, a better notion of what this is all about. Yeah. Mm -hmm.